what a friend we have in Jesus. These simple words carry such a powerful truth that can truly transform the way we see our lives and the challenges we face. Right now, I want to speak directly to your heart. You may be feeling discouraged, overwhelmed, or maybe you're carrying a burden that feels too heavy to bear. I don't know the exact situation you're going through, but I do know this, Jesus knows. He sees you. And not only does he see you, but he also stands with you, ready to help, to comfort, and to carry that burden for you. The Bible tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11, Therefore encourage one another, and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. So today I am here to encourage you. Life can be tough, and the road can feel long, but you don't have to walk it alone. Jesus walks beside you, offering you his strength, his peace, and his love. He's not a distant savior. He's a friend who sticks closer than a brother, a friend who hears every prayer, even the ones you whisper in the dead of night, the ones you can't find words for. Maybe you've been praying for a breakthrough, for healing, for peace in the midst of your storm, and maybe it feels like God isn't hearing you. But I want you to hold on to this truth, God hears every prayer. James 5 verse 16 reminds us, The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Your prayers have power, not because of who you are, but because of who Jesus is. He is faithful, and he is working, even when you can't see it. The Bible also says in 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13, No temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability, but with the temptation he will also provide the way of escape, that you may be able to endure it. The amazing thing about this verse is the promise it holds. God knows your limits, he knows your struggles, and he knows how much you can bear. And in every situation, he provides a way out. Maybe you've been feeling like you're stuck, like there's no escape. But I want to remind you today, Jesus is your way out. He is the answer, and in him, there is always hope. Think about this, what kind of friend do you have in Jesus? He's not the type to abandon you when things get rough. He's not the type to stand at a distance and watch you struggle. No, he steps into your pain, he steps into your struggle, and he lifts you up. And when you feel weak, he is your strength. When you feel lost, he is your guide. When you feel like you can't go on, he's the one who carries you. And not only that, but he understands. Jesus walked this earth, he faced temptation, he felt pain, he knew what it was like to be rejected and alone. But in all of that, he remained faithful and because he conquered every trial, every temptation, he now stands ready to help you conquer yours. So dear friend, don't give up. Don't let the weight of life crush your spirit. You are not alone, and you have a friend in Jesus who is more than able to bring you through. He is your comforter, your deliverer, your peace in the storm. And if you're feeling like you can't see the way forward, remember this, Jesus is the way. He has already made a way for you, and he will never leave you to walk it alone. Sometimes the most, most powerful thing you can do is simply rest in that truth. Rest in knowing that Jesus has you in the palm of his hand. Rest in knowing that he is working all things together for your good, even when you can't see it. Rest in knowing that his love for you is unshakable, unchangeable, and unstoppable. He is the friend who never leaves the Savior who never fails. Take a moment right now and lay your burdens at his feet. Whatever is weighing on your heart, whatever is causing you fear, bring it to him. He is faithful and he will carry you through. You are not fighting this battle alone. Jesus is fighting for you. And as you go through this day, remember the friend you have in Jesus. He's not just a distant figure in history. He is alive, he is present, and he is with you. So hold on to him, trust in his promises, and know that with him, you can face whatever comes your way. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts full of gratitude, knowing that we have a friend in Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the gift of your Son, who walks with us in every season of life. 
wept in moments of joy and in moments of sorrow, you are there. We are not alone, and we are so grateful that we have a Savior who sees us, who hears our prayers, and who knows our every need. Lord, today I lift up every person listening to this prayer, especially those who feel burdened, weighed down by life's challenges. You know exactly what they're going through. You see the silent tears, the sleepless nights, and the heavy hearts, and, and Lord, we trust that you are close to the brokenhearted and that you save those who are crushed in spirit. So right now I ask that you comfort them in the way only you can. Wrap them in your love and remind them that they are never alone. Remind them that in you they have a friend who will never leave them or forsake them. Father, I pray for those who are struggling to see the way forward. Maybe life feels like it's closing in on them and they can't see a way out. But Lord, your word says that you provide a way of escape in every trial, in every temptation. So I ask right now, Lord, that you make that way clear. Open doors that no man can shut and close doors that lead to destruction. Guide them, Father, with your hand of wisdom. Help them to trust that you are leading them to safety, even when the road feels uncertain. Lord, I also pray for strength. Many are feeling weary today, tired in their bodies, tired in their spirits. But you are our strength. Your word says that when we are weak, you are strong. So I ask that you give supernatural strength to every person under the sound of my voice. Be strengthen their minds, strengthen their hearts, and remind them that with you, they can do all things. Let them know that you are walking with them and that your power is made perfect in their weakness. Father, we thank you for the friendship we have in Jesus. It's not just any kind of friendship. It's a friendship that brings life, peace, and hope. We thank you that in Jesus we find rest for our souls. We thank you that no matter what we face, he is with us, carrying us when we can't carry ourselves. Lord, help us to lean into that friendship. Help us to trust that Jesus is enough for every situation and that he is enough when we are afraid. He is enough when we are hurting and he is enough when we don't know what to do. Lord, I pray that every person listening to this prayer would experience your peace today. Your word tells us not to worry about anything, but to pray about everything. So Lord, we bring our worries, our fears, our anxieties, and we lay them at your feet. We trust that you are bigger than every problem we face. We trust that you are already working all things together for our good. And we rest in the peace that only you can give, a peace that surpasses all understanding. Father, for those who feel isolated, who feel like no one understands them, remind them that Jesus understands. He walked this earth, he experienced pain, he faced rejection, and he overcame it all. Help them to know that Jesus is not just a savior, but a friend, someone who gets them, who knows their heart, and who will never leave them alone. Fill them with the comfort of your presence, Lord. And now, Lord, we ask that you help us to trust you more. Trust you in the storm. Trust you in the quiet moments. Trust you when we can't see the way. Help us to hold on to the promises of your word, that you will never leave us, that you have a plan for us, and that you are working all things for our good. Teach us, Lord, to rest in your love and to be still, knowing that you are God. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. We trust you with our lives, and we thank you for being the best friend we could ever have in Jesus. And in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.